And we're live. Hi everyone, this is Amish Gamer, and I'll be returning to Warcraft 3 Legends of Arcane, second human book. And basically I'm showing what I'm doing for 14B. I decided to try something, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Uh, this is actually post-commentary because I actually didn't play at the time. So do forgive me for that. But I wanted to try something stupid. But, but first to, I guess to explain how we got to this, I destroyed all the other bases, so the only two bases are the two main bases by the, uh, on the main island. And at this point, I have a bunch of oil wells, so in terms of gold, it's just a luxury that I have plenty of. And then, I wanted to try something stupid. And the stupid thing is using Van Durst and using the enemy terror. So I remember when I play with terror, the most painful thing about the terror is that if the enemy are close to my buildings, it would destroy my buildings because it's basically an AOE attack that doesn't care if it's friendly or it's enemies. So I was wondering, if I have Van Doors, who's relatively quick, who's fairly tanky so he won't like instantly die, what if I have him run around the enemy base? What if I use the terror to destroy the enemy buildings? Focusing on things like the altar. And the funniest thing about it is if the enemy melee units are chasing after me, because they're lagging behind, they will actually get destroyed by the terrors. So during this first run, I think I took out all of the altars and I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. The second time, it just happened to coincide with when my allies are coming in. The problem here is because my allies are participating, I don't always get the terror aggro. I don't know what determines that. But what I end up happening is support focus on certain structures like towers, certain enemy units, and the ally hero is able to distract the enemy for some time and then once that uh, Captain Orin I think perishes then I get all the aggro and then there is a trick so just running past it because of the amount of health the buildings have sometimes I need to run around the building a certain amount of time or attack it so it seems weird, but it kind of it, it's kind of delayed. So if I attack a building and stand still, the projectile from the terror will do the same. And as you can see right now, when attacking things like castles that have a lot of health, and I also don't know why sometimes the aggro is lost. So honestly, this was probably the hardest thing to kill because waiting for the aggro attacking the castle like at this point I didn't need much else I mean I, I feel like I could destroy everything like this I even use my ult because I'm like the terror isn't bothering me so while we watch uh, vendors use his ult I do want to mention that uh, at the start of this video I said that this video began after I cleared out all the other uh, islands that had enemies so it seems like the oil wells had certain bases that are assigned to guarding those oil wells. So if I destroy the shipyards for those bases, what ends up happening is those oil wells, once you clear out the ships. So if you remember what happened was I clear out the ships, I send units to guard, and then soon the enemy keeps sending units until eventually they take it back. So the trick there is to destroy the enemy shipyard so they can't reinforce that position. And then the enemy basically won't bother you, won't attack you, won't raid you. And that's great because as you can see with my gold, I have so much of it. And if I'm just using Van Durst, I just need to pay gold to revive him, which is honestly a pretty small cost. And as you can see, if I attack... A structure for a while even the projectile pauses right it's it's basically a delayed reaction it's it's kind of like it's a shadow of 
my unit, which is really funny. And and what I need is to kind of do these like staggered, like attack a bit, make sure it stays there, and then this is basically it for the top base. I did send my flyers in to help because otherwise it would take too long. And here I think I get slowed, which is really annoying because that actually slowed me down. I mean, that's kind of redundant. But yeah, my, my goal here is also take out the altar so that once their hero dies, I don't have to worry about it. What's dangerous about this base is the enemy navy is still very much quite powerful. And if I get too close to the coast, uh, vendors get uh, shut down pretty quickly. So I did some damage, but he died. And then I need to restart, but this time... Yeah, even their hero hasn't fully uh, healed up. Like, she has half health. So if I... As you can see, if I stop to attack... The projectiles from the terror will stop just long enough for me to... So in some ways, you could control... Uh, how the terror attacks. And I only just realized that there are two. So when I was attacking the northern base, there was only one terror participating. But once I get to the southern base, there are two terrors, which does speed things up. Because now there are two terrors, twice as much destruction on the enemy bases. But if I'm not careful, it doesn't mean that Doris takes twice as much damage. So there is that. But at least this time I don't have to worry as much about... Oh look, the castle takes forever. Yeah, no, they... They really clear things out. And at this point, it's mostly cleaning things up. I thought I would, would have been able to finish this particular round. But, yeah, dealing with the enemy ships, it's a lot of damage. And unfortunately, because of the, like, what made Vendor so difficult to deal with before is that he has so much open space, right? But once you get to the shallow end, there isn't that much open space to work with. And yes, I did patrol back and forth, but it it was not as efficient. And right now, I'm I'm getting my Pegasi, I think that's plural. Assisting with some of these, and I think my hero is coming. So overall, yeah, it has been a very interesting experience. I And we're back. I uh, hope you enjoyed my little, uh, I guess, edited in video of what I was doing with Van Dus. And let's continue with it. Uh, once we load in, we should be transitioning into the cutscene and then moving on to the next chapter, I think. I'm sorry, sir, but my men have spent hours searching for him. Marin seemed to have disappeared. He and all his machines and airships, gone. The Templars whom you have sent to protect them have been found around his workshop. They're all dead. This doesn't make any sense. Marin had a sizable force to protect him. All of our enemies on this continent are either destroyed or too weak to do this. Unless... Apologies, sir, but... There can be one explanation only. Marin must have betrayed us. Only his machines would be powerful enough to. Silence. Marin will never betray me. Keep looking for him. I will get on the ship and prepare a crusade. Y yes, sir. Why have you brought me here, demon slave? Keep your mouth shut, little man. If it were up to me, I'd have your tongue cut out and your head chopped off afterwards. No, he will not die today. He will watch. Watch what? You will see soon enough, my dear Marin. You know, you and your golden guard have served my master very well, without really knowing it, of course. However, you have outlived your usefulness the moment you betray your empire. I cannot l let you leave this continent. And I intend to prevent you from leaving this continent. 
Gaze upon the great last crusade of your friend Reynold, my dear Marin. Is it over? Oh dear. <laughs> Epilogue B, Departure, only mere minutes later. Wait, is it over? The Golden Guard is no more. Their ships sunk, their armies drowned. Except for this Marin, I let him escape. We'll meet again, of that I am sure. Until then, he will live. Knowing that he watched his friends and allies die, unable to save them. For the first time in forever, the Golden Guard is finally doing something useful. Too bad that their victory made your deception entirely pointless, Safira. Garden died. That's a success as far as I am concerned. That slaver was a monster. A monster, yes. But he could assert balance, regardless. It doesn't matter. The paladins and their cannons will take his place. They will be a shield against the demons for a long time. We will use this time to deal with our other enemies. The orcs and their tribal dominion on the other hand. We'll have to watch them. Bloodcall pre prevented them from adding the fishermen to the ranks. Yet they are a powerful force not to be underestimated. The entrance to the Dead Mountain have been permanently sealed and the mortals will be kept at bay by your agents. We will be right within their lands without them knowing. My forces and I will be ready whenever you need us, Eridon, no matter the foe. All of you have served me well, for the time being. Our intervention is no longer required. We will disappear from mortal eyes until the time is right. Oh, Adele, my sweet little Adele, I will miss you, I really will. Now that all who were once close to you are gone, you are all mine. We already become one some time ago, but now my mind has completely absorbed yours. It is nothing personal, I assure you, but our master was very specific. Who he is, you ask? Who he really is? Have you ever heard of the four? Surely not. Neither had I before I met the Dark One. The Dark One, the Demon God, the Master of Shadows, and the Avatar Death were the Four. When the gods waged war against each other, the essence of their fallen created the Four, filling them with the power of several gods. They attacked the gods and defeated them. Then, they were the ones who controlled the world, until the Dark One turned against the others who in turn attacked him. Even with all his power, he stood no chance. It was a demon god who tore him apart with his bare hands, throwing pieces of the Dark One all around the world. However, he did not die, you see. He slowly put himself back together over the centuries and once again began his quest for power. He addressed me while I was driven to madness in my prison. He promised me a way to escape, a way to take revenge on those who wronged me. And you, my dear, were the one he sent to fulfill his promise. Now. You are gone and I am alone again. Well, only for the time being. My master calls. Farewell, Adele. Bring me the bodies of Cora Redfist and Scarlet Retka. As you wish. Your Grace, we have received news from the Imperial Navy. It is just as you have predicted. Vendors and the Golden Guard had turned against us. That is most unfortunate indeed. My uncle and his soldiers were loyal servants. But when I heard that Van Dorst was not dealing with Garden personally, it was obvious. What are they doing now? They are all dead. Their ships have been destroyed only shortly after the Golden Guard has entered the ships. So, both Garden and Van Dorst have been dealt with. Very good indeed. Our airships will soon arrive at the capital, your grace. Very good. Make sure that everything is prepared. Of course, your grace. Alright, so... Huh. This wasn't in the other one. So does that mean they didn't have airships available to them? Not sure. 
I just realized this is also a very short video between uh, this epilogue and combining the other thing, but oh well. Anyways, uh, short video, and then next time I'll come back, it'll be the true legends of our king. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope you have a good one.